new flow that enables employees to request shift trades, releases, and drops was designed to provide a more intuitive experience for your staff members who can't work a shift that they have been assigned to work and would like to either trade shifts with one of their coworkers, release the shift so that other employees can pick it up, or drop the shift so that their managers can assign a different employee to work that shift. Let's take a look at what the new flow looks like from the employee perspective. To initiate a trade, release, or drop, employees must be in the My Schedule view of the shift planning module. When they click on the shift that they would like to trade, release, or drop, a new side panel will appear where they will be able to see all of the shift's details. What's new here is the Can't Work button at the bottom, where the options to trade, release, or drop the shift will appear. Let's start with what the flow for dropping a shift looks like, since it's the least complicated option. Once an employee has clicked on the Drop Shift option, he or she will be asked to confirm the request. When the employee confirms his or her request, the manager will receive a notification that the shift has been dropped from that employee's schedule. When an employee requests to release a shift, he or she must also provide a reason for the request so that the manager knows why the employee is unable to work the shift. In the next step, employees will see a list of coworkers working on the same position and can select coworkers who could potentially be able to cover for them. They can search for a particular coworker if they know who they'd like to recommend for the shift, or they can simply scroll down the list to see coworkers who are both available and unavailable to work. We've given employees the option to select as many coworkers as they want to, and to recommend employees who are unavailable, leaving it up to the manager to decide to whom they would like to assign the shift. After selecting potential covers and clicking on Continue, the employee sending the request will receive a notification detailing the further steps of the release process. When clicking on the Trade Shift option, the employee begins the process of offering his or her shift to another employee in exchange for accepting to work one of their shifts in return. Once again, the employee must provide a reason for the request to his or her manager. They will then see a list of employee shifts they can request to work instead of the shift that they are looking to trade. If the employee has a date or week in mind for the shift they would like to trade for, he or she can narrow down the available shift results using the date picker. Once again, the employee has the option of searching for a specific coworker to trade with or simply scrolling down the list to evaluate his or her options. The employee can then select one or more shifts to initiate the trade request. Choosing more than one potential shift should give the employee a better chance of getting his or her shift trade approved. After selecting one or several shifts they would potentially like to trade for and clicking on Continue, the employee sending the request will receive a notification detailing the further steps of the trade process. If the employee wants to see the status of their request, they can click on the shift from their My Schedule view again and see the status of the request, which appears in the top right corner of the Shift Details side panel. 